Welcome back all my tacticians to another edition of Tacticians Monday Matches. So let's get started off with this double battle between me and Michaela. I had some very interesting battles last night, or like, yeah, last night on, on Sunday Night Brawl. But, you know what, we're going to be starting off with Michaela Taylor. How's it, how's it going, everybody? So, let's get started with this double battle. I'm going to be leading off with 410, my Skarmory, and, Ki and not Kindle. No, 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 I get those two mixed up. This is Fern, my Shiny Ripper Dash. And Michaela is going to be leading with a Shiny Mythical Fable and a regular Buku. So first off, I'm going to have my Fern just going to go for a Smart Strike into the Fable, just gauging the damage, seeing how much I can do. I get the critical hit, I'm like, oh, that's a lot of damage. And what do you know, Clefable is going to go for a Thunder into my Skarmory. So already, this ain't looking good for me, and I'm like, ah, crud, and as I just, get, I just go crud, just as I get freaking paralyzed. But that does activate four times with the policy, so... All things considered, it wasn't too bad. I was going for the automatize here to get my speed up, but unfortunately, that seemed, that plan seems to have it vanished because I'm paralyzed now. Ugh. In any case, Pukumu is gonna go for a toxic onto Fern here, so all that so that that's not good. And Clefable's just gonna, gonna chow down and get some leftovers. Gonna get some leftovers health back. I'm gonna take some poison damage. That ain't what I wanted, my tacticians. No, Fern doesn't want to do that. So Pikachu's gonna go for a protect here. So that's the thing. And I'm like, all right, you know what? Time to pull out my strange strategy. I'm going for the Steelium Z move. And that's right. I have Fern with a steel attack move with a smart strike. And I gave my firm, my shiny pepper dash, the Steelium Z Crystal. So Corkscrew Crush, incoming fire! Da -da -da. And bam. Down goes the Clefable. Hooray! Thank goodness the Clefable didn't protect. But in any case, Fern takes that down. 410 is going to go for a sky drop into a protecting Pukumuku. And Fern is just going to sit there and get some more poison damage. That's not good for me. Bam. So, out comes the Swampert now, and I'm thinking, alright, what's this Swampert going to do? So, Pikmin is going to try to go for the Scumbag Double Protect, as I like to call it, and for its troubles, I'm going to go for a Wild Charge into the Loop. And, well, I get a lot of recoil damage down. Swampert is going to go for the Waterfall into Fern. Fern is not exactly what you would call a tank, but he t did all he could. He... Knocked down a Clefable at least, and 410, well, he was going to go for a Roost, but unfortunately he gets paralyzed. So now it's Draco's time to shine. So Draco, he's going to go for a Choice Scarf to Earthquake here, seeing what damage he can do. And Swampert, well, I managed to do some damage to the Swampert. I managed to take down the Pukumuku, and Pukumuku gets in its out, so I'm going to take a lot of damage from that. Down goes the Pukumuku. And Swampert, he's like, you know what? I don't like you. Ice Beam. And Draco, no! Draco, he never gets to shine. Oh, my poor Frog Flygon. And I get the Roost off. I get my Roost off. Thank you, Forte. Good job, Forte. Good job. You're a great Forte. Good discard. In any case, I'm going to send out Penelope, my newest low punny. Yep, I had. When I was doing the low punny giveaway, I kept one for myself. And so my low punny Penelope is gonna mega evolve. I like my mega evolving low punnies. So here goes my low punny. She's mega evolved now. Thank goodness I got a second Z crystal. Or not a Z crystal, it's a mega stone. And Penelope is gonna go for a sky uppercut into the Swampert. Swampert is gonna go for a focus blast into Penelope. So this does some insane damage, considering it's a special, it's not, Swampert's not exactly a strong special attacker, it's more of a physical attacker. Nino King's gonna go for a flamethrower into 410, 410 barely holds on, and he gets to t gets his attack off, finally goes into the sky drop. Thank goodness, 410. Whew, thank goodness he survived. But in any case, my opponent is gonna Mega Evolve her Swampert. I'm like, so that's what your true form is. So Mega Swampert is on the field. Unfortunately, he's not fast enough to take on Penelope's speed. She gets the return off, takes down the Swampert. Swampert goes down, and Fortune gets the Sky Drop off, and down goes the Nido King. Unfortunately, Nido King had a red card, and poor Fortune loses his attack boosts. 
as well as his speed boots. So, rip, rip, rip my dreams. So, there we go. Now we got another Pokemon out. It's Bonnie. Bonnie, my female Meowstic. She's going to go for a fake out into the into the Yoda Carrillo there. And I'm going to go for a return into the Needle King, hoping I don't get poisoned. Thank goodness I did not get poisoned. Needle King goes down. And, well, the Yoda Carrillo could not do anything. Here comes the Del Kitty! Woo! Del Kitty! I love Del Kitty. I love anyone who can pull off the Del Kitty. I go for a Sky Uppercut into the Del Kitty because you know what? I just need to punch it. And Del Kitty survives on 1 HP thanks to that Focus Sash. Finally, he's gonna go for a Side Shock here. Gonna t try to take down the Odekiryo, but the Odekiryo stands tall. And it goes for a Hurricane into Penelope. Penelope does not like Hurricanes. She gets super effective hit by that. And she drops like a rock. So rest in peace, my Del... Or not my Del Kitty. My, my, my Mega Low Punny. Del Kitty gonna go for a... Assist and gets the Focus Blast. And does not get the Focus Blast off. So... What's Fortan gonna do? Fortan gonna come out. I'm gonna go for a disarming voice, thinking maybe that would do enough damage to knock out both Pokemon. It does not knock out both Pokemon. It barely doesn't. Just barely does not. So Fortan, he's gonna go for a. Gonna get hit with that with that re revelation dance, and down goes poor Fortan. Oh my poor Fortan, my poor Skarmory. I'm gonna send in Gigabyte. Everyone say hello to Gigabyte. He gets out. He gets to be on the field for all of one turn, and he doesn't even get to do anything. Why? Because Body steals the show with a Thunderbolt, taking down the Oricario, and that is gonna be victory to the Reshi Ram. Woohoo! Oh my goodness, that was tough. Let me tell you, that was a tough battle. So, in any case, we're gonna be moving on next to me versus Sabrina. So. Yeah, this was the team I tried to pull off the uh, the speed swap Faramosa, I believe. I think maybe it was, no, 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 it's not that. No, no, it was, uh, oh yeah, it was Swagger, Safeguard, and I believe it was like Light Screen with my Mudsdale. There we go. So, this whole strategy re resolve, or revolved around two things. One, getting the Safeguard up, and two, getting the Swaggers off. So... I'm gonna get uh, hit here with, you know, Porygon 2 is gonna, or I've set up my Shadow, or set up my Safeguard, I quashed the, I believe it was, uh, Pixie there, I, I can't remember the species name, but, ah, Florgus, no, Florgus, so the Florgus was, went last, she went for the Dazzling Gleam, I lose Buster here, but then again, he was gonna swap out anyway, you know, if he survived, he would have swapped out with his Eject Button. Clyde gets a, you know, he gets his funny little, he gets to survive, he gets his barrier eaten, and now out comes Ryan the Mudsdale. So, Ryan is my sassy Mudsdale, I found him one day while training my, tra while training my snakes. I'm gonna give him a swagger to increase his attack power, because I just love doing that. He's gonna get his lovely attack boost off, he's not gonna get confused. Uh, Florgas is gonna go for a energy ball into Ryan. Ryan is gonna survive that pretty darn well, all things considered. Porygon 2 is gonna go for that, and he's gonna take that just as well. Thank you very much. He survived these hits thanks to his assault vest. That sassy nature plus assault vest and max special defense EVs is really helping him out. So Florgas is gonna take this and this heavy slam like a boss takes it down. Everyone is happy. Yay me. Now, out comes Salomon. So I'm like, okay, what can I do here? There is not much I can really do here. He's gonna focus down Ryan. I'm thinking, okay, if he's physical attack, I think I can survive. If he's special attack, I think maybe I can survive. But I'm not too sure. So Salamence is gonna mega evolve here, so I'm hoping he's, go he's a special attacker. And I'm also hoping he's a physical attacker. <laughs> In any case, I set up my light screen trying to survive. He is a special attacker, so I learned a little bit, little bit more about him. And Ryan takes that like a boss, baby. Look at that. Barely sitting in there. Unfortunately, the poor gun dude decides, you know what? He wants to ice beam me, and he's gonna ice beam me. And 410, he does not survive that. Too effective. So, rip my 410. Rip, no, not my 410. Rip my Ryan. So, I'm thinking, all right. Desperation time, desperation measures. Time to pull out Marina. So Marina is my is my shiny wishy washy. I SOS her for a 
couple of many, many hours, actually. So she's my physical attacking one. She's got a docile nature, not the best nature. But in any case, I'm going to swagger her anyway, and I'm going to see if I can, you know, deal some damage. So Porygon 2 is going to go for a Thunderbolt into Marina. She survives that pretty darn well, all things considered. And I'm going to set up the Aquarine because, you know what, I like my Aquarine. So I'm going to survive that pretty well. Marina is going to start chowing down on some health, trying to get the game some health back. I really should have put Amy on this team, you know, for the, for the, for the survivability chances. At least until that uh, stupid, stupid uh, Mega Salamence comes out onto the field again. In any case, I'm going to swagger Marina again. She's still protected by the safeguard, so now she's at plus four. So she's going to hit like a rock. And, well, I get critical hit by the Shadow Ball. I'm sure that critical hit mattered. I was already negative one special defense. And Zoril is going to knock off my leftovers. So that's not good for me at all. In any case, I'm going to waterfall the Porygon too. I'm going to barely avoid knocking it out in one shot. That's bad for me. I really, really, really needed that knockout. And I'm going to lose my safeguard. So now it's time for my last team members. It's going to be Shaman on the field. And Azumarill is going to withdraw because, you know what, it wants to withdraw. So I really probably should have gone for a different attack into the this, into this swapping. But, you know what, I didn't do that. I, w I really wanted that Porygon 2 gone. So I'm going to get a special defense drop. That's not really going to help me out. I'm going to get an Ice Beam to the face from, sh from Porygon 2. And I barely survive on 3 HP. And I don't get the Earthquake. Or I get the Earthquake off, but... It doesn't, it's not going to do anything to the Salamence, which is what I really needed. So Porygon 2 is going to drop like a rock. Down goes the Porygon 2. And I'm still kicking. So there's Marina now. Marina is going to take some health back thanks to the Aqua Ring. I'm thinking, maybe I can survive. Maybe I can survive the next attack. So I'm going to go for my Z move. I'm going to go for a Z aromatherapy here to restore my, my Shaman's health, my Shaman Skyform's health. So that's going to give me a bit of a stick, get a bit of, bit of a chance to survive this next attack, but I don't really do anything else there. I'm going to get a Hyper Voice to the face. And Marina takes that pretty quite well. And I was really hoping that this Dreading Nun would go for another attack. But he goes into Marina. Marina is obviously plus four, so she's the bigger threat. And down goes my wishy-washy. Down goes wishy-washy. My light screens are gone. And now I'm down to, yep, Picklet and Shaman. So I'm thinking, okay, I don't suppose we could be friends, right? Well, this was Sabrina's answer. So I'm gonna sit, gonna try to lead see the drowning in, trying to survive maybe a little bit. Nope. I'm going to get a Hyper Voice to the face. Both Picklet and Shaman are going down. Obviously, that critical hit mattered onto Picklet. Oh, my poor team. We tried so hard, people. We tried so hard. But in any case, that was my battle between me and Michaela and Sabrina. I hope you guys all enjoyed Sunday Night Brawl, and I hope you guys all enjoyed Tactician's Monday Matches. I will see you all next time. Bye-bye. the point where you can't go on just come to me you'll be safe from harm if you trust in me then i'll trust in you there's nothing more that i need to do if you put your hands in front of mine we'll be shining through